Hi, welcome back to Kolsky Drones. So today we've got the XK8800 RC glider from XK, obviously. So this is it: 800 mil wingspan, full stabilisation. I think you have to put it together when you get it. It's dead simple. The two wings join together with this little strip here, and then you put two screws that through there, hold the wings on, so you could take it in bits if you want, you've obviously got to plug your wings in which I'll show you inside and then you've got, difficult to do it on your bench, so then you've got one screw that goes up there. I do recommend a bit, bit of hot glue on here because even with that screw fully tight I had some movement in this, so maybe a little bit of hot glue like I've done there. And this is it. So it's made of EPP foam obviously, it's extremely light, weighs nothing, it runs on this little 2S battery here. So it's a 2S 200 milliamp hour battery, good for about 15-20 minutes, believe it or not. So inside you can't see much really, but if you can see, I don't know if you can see inside there, maybe you can probably see the, if you see the control board, I don't think you can. Little control board underneath here, and that's doing your stabilisation. Now it do, this does come ready to fly with this transmitter. So this is a transmitter, as you can see, no batteries in it. I do not like this transmitter, I've had this transmitter before on different things. It is full 4 channel, um, obviously throttle, and various things. Uh, I fly mode 1 so I'm going to show you what I did anyway but you can buy this in mode 1 or mode 2 it's up to you I can actually fly a plane in mode 2 so this is the transmitter there your functions and that is to adjust your flight controller to the different modes so quite a basic controller it runs on 4 AA batteries but you do get it with it but I run mine on jump T12 so you can set it up, but you have to select KN. If you try and set it up as WL Toys, or, sorry, Pataba, even though this does say, I think it says on here somewhere, you see if I can get that in shot, SFHSS, it certainly isn't. So, XK have a division of WL Toys. So, this control is used for a lot of things, hence why it says that on it. But this will not run on the Fataba protocol. So what you need to do is select KN and then make sure it's on WL Toys and bind it to it that way. The only other thing you're going to have to do is set a switch up to adjust the settings, which I'll show you in a minute. And you're going to have to find out which channel it is. Mine was on channel 8. Now I believe they move about. So I set channel 8 to one of these switches, which I'll show you in a second. Let's plug the battery in. Right, so I'm going to have to turn the transmitter off. I think you have to turn the transmitter off first. So, micro lozzy connector, does come with a charger, plug the battery in, Make the canopy is a bit awkward because the props try and get in your way and fight you, it's best to open your props up, that's the only thing I find a bit strange about it. And then this just clicks on. There you go. So the battery is now uh, it's now in, so we're going to bind it to it. Let's just turn the transmitter on. Let's see if that has bound to it. You'll see a flashing light inside. Don't know if you can see that. It's still is it flashing? There you go. You have to go up and down with your throttle stick. So, it's now bound. Now let me find out which switch I've got set up. Actually, let's just... Uh, now to get the stabilisation to work, it's got to receive some input. So there you go, so you've got your normal... Airlines, I'm flying on mode. One obviously, elevator and rudder. So it had all four controls. So now it's in stabilisation mode. 
So if you can see now, so there's quite a lot of stabilisation there and if I flick the switch it reduces your stabilisation. So that's what it does on that channel. So it is, mine's on switch D but I am on channel 8. So, to be honest when you're flying it, it doesn't really make that much, I don't think it makes that much of a difference. This is extremely easy to fly. This is the perfect beginner glider. I think it costs 50, 52 or 54 pounds with a controller, so it's ready to go to that. You get the battery, you get the charger. Just let me turn that off. It's the server the chattering because it's not level, obviously. But it is a really nice piece of kit for the money. So just to show you, you can take a beat in. I caught a pole when I was flying it and I chopped the edge of the wing clean off. I don't, really neat cut and all I did was put a bit of hot glue on. I'll show you how neat the cut was. You can't even really see on the sticker where it is. There's a layer of hot glue over the top of it but you can't really tell where it was. So it takes a beating. Uh, I've landed this quite roughly a couple of times and it's absolutely fantastic. It's got folding props, you don't need to bother about the prop catching when you land. It really is the ideal beginner's plane. I'll get some flight footage up shortly of it flying. Um, I haven't filmed any yet and the weather's absolutely freezing here so I'm not going out playing today but I'll get some footage up shortly and show you how good it looks in the air. There is some other videos on this. I think Albert Kim's done a really in-depth one on it but it really is fantastic. Definitely recommended for me. If you're looking for a plane you want something cheap, a bit of a park flyer that you can fly slow or with a little bit of speed, this is definitely the one. Thanks ever so much for watching. Have a fantastic day.